going on. Hey, by the way, I heard from the people at Rolling Stone, and they were very grateful. They said the sales of the magazine were astonishing. Like they Ooh. just well, you know, nobody could find it. Your parents couldn't find it for right. weeks. Well, that's what I wrote back to them. I said, you know, it was nothing but a pleasant experience uh, being on the cover of Rolling Stone. You guys are total pros, and uh, I still continue to tell people that I'm a huge fan of that magazine, Rolling Stone. I think it just gets better and better. And uh, it's amazing that a magazine like that can even last in today's environment with all the confusion of the Internet and uh, free material and people reading more and more on the web and not buying magazines. Uh, I said uh, it was nothing but a great experience, and I'm glad that our fans went out and bought it for you and, and got the uh, sales up. And so uh, it was a very good experience for them as well. And uh, that's nice. Uh, I was thinking about the story you did yesterday or the day before, Robin, about the new Superman movie being made. You talked about Amy Adams becoming um, Lois Lane. Lois Lane. And I was in my car yesterday, and I said, you know, you, you mentioned that uh, Lindsay Lohan was up for the role of Miss Ta Tessmacher, who uh, it was in the original Superman movie. And it occurs to me, this Miss Tessmacher was never in the comic books that I know of. Lex Luthor never had a woman named Miss Tessmacher who ran around with him. And uh, and the other thing is they're remaking the, the uh, first film again. Why is it with the Superman franchise? I've said this to you before. I'm a big Superman fan. Why can't they get past the storyline of how Superman... Becomes and Lex, Superman. And, and why does Lex Luthor always have to be the enemy? And why does it always have to be Miss Tessmacher, is that his side, in a kind of comical role? This, this, I, I don't understand. Hollywood. I don't understand Hollywood. They're stuck in the first Christopher Reeves movie, and they refuse to move on. Everyone keeps remaking that same first yeah. movie. Uh, at least It Batman, frustrates me. I mean, he's, he's still with the Joker, you're right. Yeah, and Batman, too. <laughs> Batman is another, you know, one thing about Marvel, they, each episode they move ahead. Yeah. Uh, w w with Iron Man, you know, it was the second movie had a new story. With uh, Spider-Man, the, the three, I think there's been three so far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, the, each one was a, a movement forward in the story. For some reason, with Batman and Superman, the DC Comics, they cannot for the life of them move forward in the story. They refuse to get off. Oh, Batman gets his powers, he figures out who he is, and he fights the Joker. That's been the same remake since Tim Burton did it. Uh, and then they came out with this latest Batman, and he's in the fucking woods learning how to be Batman. I mean, they cannot move forward with Batman and just give you an adventure. Right. Now they're remaking Superman. They go back to that Christopher Reeves version where Miss Tassmacher, I don't know Miss Tassmacher. I never heard of her. She's a bore. What the fuck are they doing wrong? Would somebody consult me before they make a movie? At least with this Superman and this Batman, because they don't seem to have access to the comic books for some reason or other. Right. George, when I was watching you on the Internet in this uh, Spider-Man spoof, I don't believe that you haven't had some sort of facial work or some kind of... You've been pulled back with a facelift. I mean, you do not look in your 70s. In fact... You look like you're in your fucking fifties. What the really? hell? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I have not had. You've anything. never had any Botox? No, nothing like that at all. Jesus Christ! I mean, you're in great look at shape. Me. Here I am. Yeah, you I know, know but I you don't see any anything. scars. Yeah, you did do a close up on his face. I don't know if they what they did, but he looks like a kid. Yeah. You know, I mean, I I believe in Mother Nature. I Is there? In, there's a lot of makeup. You wear makeup. Uh, I had makeup on in, uh, right. when I did that. Uh, Spider-Man did, mm. but uh, you know, you see me now. Yeah. Here I am. Yeah. No, you look good, man. I'm, I I've got my age uh, sags and you don't. Pouches. No, you don't move like a seventy. What is it? Seventy-four? You're going to be? I'm uh, on the twentieth of this month. You don't move like a seventy-four. You're like I watch you get up and, and go to the bathroom, or you go you go to get something to eat. You fucking spry. You got a spring to your step. You don't walk like an old man. Well, my you know, favorite thing that George ever said was he hates to go to the matinees because the old people move so slow. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you think of me in that category. <laughs> no, yes, I, you said that. Yeah, and you know, I go to my uh, uh, my high school friend, the, my barber, uh -huh. and you know, I gotta say, it's hard to believe that he's my age. Yeah, right. Because uh, you know, he's. Is he's, your? Do you dye your hair? 
I do die. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Your face is I, I'm, going. I'm leaving a little gray, uh, graceful gray on the side. On the temple. Yeah, yes. It's not a bad uh, die job. You know, I was on the internet. They were talking about. Uh, I'm the worst sometimes when it comes to toupees. <laughs> I um, I know your friend there, J uh, William Shatner. You can't right. miss that one. All right. But um, <laughs> a, a bunch of people were pointing out as if it was so obvious that on Dancing with the Stars, Ralph Macchio wears a, a toupee. A hairpiece. Mm. Yeah. And I, I didn't know that. Did you notice that? Yep. You did. It like it. It looks like a toupee. Yeah. Gee, I didn't know. You didn't notice I, I haven't looked at him that closely, but I didn't notice that. Because yeah, these guys were all goofing on his toupee, and I went, what the fuck's wrong with me that I don't know that? Most people, you know, think that uh, uh, Bill had his full head of hair uh, on the TV version. Who, who <laughs> thinks that? Uh, well, people have told me that. Oh, yeah? You mean but he, about he had a piece even back then uh, on uh, TV. You mean that sort of thinning strip on the front right. was a piece? Right. I see. It looked believable. It was more natural. Yes. But the older he got, the darker and lusher and thicker his hair got. The galaxies have a strange thing with the uh, <laughs> Space Mr. travel gives you more hair as you age. Yeah. Was that the big goof behind his back on the set? <laughs> <laughs> it was. And, you know, during you the TV bones, series, Scotty? he was always getting his shirt torn off. You know, right. He right. fought something. But you might have noticed in uh, the movie versions that Never. didn't happen. No, he got a little chubbier, <laughs> didn't he? <laughs> and you laugh. Oh, my. You love it, though. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you love that. That ain't no tape. That's George laughing. <laughs> this is me. All right. Uh, we got to take a break. I know there's a lot of people on the phones. We're going to meet uh, actress Stacy Nelkin uh, in just a few minutes. What is she in? Uh, nothing that I know of, but she dated Woody Allen when she was 17. Mm. I know that about. Her, and she also uh, was in uh, Richard's favorite yeah. movie, Halloween 3. She's my favorite. But she's some sort of sex. What does she do now, Gary? The, the reason we were interested in her? What was what? She has some sort of sex. A relationship expert. She's a relationship right. expert. Yeah, there was something interesting. I, I don't remember. We had a meeting about her uh -huh. a month ago. And we all decided she should come in. Hmm. She's, she she's, dated Woody Allen when she was 17. Yeah. Yeah, so I sure guess did. she was the girl he based Manhattan on, or whatever. Yeah, that's exactly right. In wow. fact, she wanted to play that girl in the movie, and then he wouldn't let her. But she was just too old. She was too old. <laughs> she yeah. was like 18, and she's like, this is sort of about us, and, and she wanted to play the poor because she was yeah. an actress, and he goes, yeah, you're all wrong. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> how old is she now? I'm going to guess she's, I don't know. I don't know how old she is. she here? Yeah, she is here. Oh, she is. All right. Well, I'll take a break. We'll say hi to her, and, you know, and after we talk to her, I know we've got a ton of stuff to get to. But uh, I have to. We have to do this first. All right. We'll now reality TV's Heidi and Spencer turn to prayer on the TV show. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. My goal is to be, you know, a true disciple of Jesus, a Mother Teresa, helping the poor. And I've always found it so fascinating living with Heidi that every single thing she prays for, like on it to the detail, comes true. For instance, she told me, Spencer. Say a prayer, really try it. So I did my first prayer. God, please, the one person I want to go on a double date with is Miley Cyrus. If you're so powerful, make me hang out with Miley Cyrus. He did it within a month. The Howard Stern Show. Geek Timers, it's Ralph, and it's time for an all-new Geek Time. The big news, Fringe has been renewed, Geek Time had something to do with it, and star Joshua Jackson returns to thank us. We all went to see the new Spider-Man musical, and it's official. It blows. Hear all the gory details and how it can be saved, or even if we want to save it. Get all that and the latest in tech, comics, TV, movies, and more. This week on an all-new Geek Time. Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. Pacific. Studies show that satellite radio listeners are, well, different. You're early adopters of technology. You embrace smarter ways of getting things done. And you take charge. Like using LegalZoom.com to do your own legal documents. You love that you can protect your family with a will for just $69. Or you can protect yourself from liability and save on taxes with a corporation or LLC through LegalZoom for as little as $99. You can also get a trademark, living trust, name change, power of attorney, and more. The brightest minds in law and technology created LegalZoom's step-by-step process to help you organize your life conveniently and affordably. That's why 94% of LegalZoom customers would refer their services to family. 
LegalZoom is not a law firm and provides self-help services at your direction. Take control of your life right now and save even more when you type SiriusXM in the referral box at checkout. That's LegalZoom.com. LegalZoom.com. It's Friday Doorbusters at Joseph A. Bank. For one day only, all executive sport coats, $149. Plus, Poplin suits, $99. That's Poplin summer suits, a cool $99. Plus, everything else, except gift cards and shoes, 50% off the regular price. That's everything else in the store, 50% off. For one day only, all executive sport coats, $149. And every Poplin suit, $99. That's our famous Poplin summer suits, an incredible $99. Friday only at Joseph A. Bank. For the Joseph A. Bank nearest you, visit josbank.com. Think about your important computer files, photos, financial records, contact lists. They may be saved on your computer, but they're not safe. You could lose them in an instant because of a computer crash, virus, or accidental deletion. That's why you need Carbonite Online Backup for your computer. Carbonite automatically backs up your files whenever you're connected to the Internet. So when your next computer disaster happens, you can easily get them back with just a few clicks. Plus, with Carbonite, no matter how much stuff you put on your PC or Mac, unlimited backup is just $55 for the entire year. Even get anytime, anywhere access to your backed up files from any computer or from your smartphone with a free app. Don't risk losing your important files to a computer disaster. Start backing them up with Carbonite today. Go to Carbonite.com and use offer code 100 to get this special offer. A 15-day free trial plus two months free with your subscription. That's Carbonite.com and be sure to enter offer code 100. Investors beware. Many professionals suggest that high inflation or even hyperinflation is nearing and could destroy the U.S. dollar. The bailout is working in reverse. It seems like there's no stopping the Federal Reserve Board as they continue to devalue the dollar. What will happen to your retirement accounts? At American Bullion, we believe this is an excellent time to liquidate and protect some of your paper funds with physical gold and silver. Protect your future and secure your wealth while you still have it. Call American Bullion and ask for our free gold guide and learn how to Roll some of your retirement assets into actual physical gold, tax-free, penalty-free. The American Bullion Gold Guide will explain everything you need to know in pure, plain, simple English. Hyperinflation is a scary possibility. Find out if rolling over your retirement funds into gold IRA is right for you. Call for your free gold guide at 800-600-4849. That's 800-600-4849. American Bullion. 800-600-4849. Are you sluggish? You know what you need? You need a boost. You need Cheetah Power Surge caffeine-free energy drink. Cheetah Power Surge is a caffeine-free energy drink made with a unique blend of Chinese ginseng, ginkgo, biloba, and royal jelly that gives you an all-natural burst of energy without the caffeine crash. Whether you're exhausted, unfocused, lethargic, whatever, just reach for Cheetah Power Surge to help keep you refreshed and revived and feeling great. And right now, you can get two cans of Cheetah Power Surge for just $3 at all Dwayne Reed stores in Manhattan. Students, athletes, professionals, car and truck drivers, Cheetah Power Surge is for you. When you need to stay alert and focused, you think Cheetah Power Surge. Cheetah also helps to improve memory while reducing mental fatigue, and it tastes great. Cheetah Power Surge, no caffeine, no caffeine crash, and that's no bowl. Now get two for three dollars at all Dwayne Reed stores in Manhattan or visit CheetahPowerSurge.com. That's CheetahPowerSurge.com. The Howard Stern Show. Be a part of it. Eight eight nine asshole. Hello. Yes, how are you? Good, I'm at the train station. I'd like to make an order to go, please. You got it. All right, give me two. I'm sorry. 
What? Oh. What, sir? Did he get that? No, I didn't get anything, sir. Do what? Okay, I'm just having a tough time hearing you. I'm at the train station. That's okay. Well, there's no problem. There's nothing I can do about that, but do what? Okay, let me tell you that. Give me two...